Hey guys, welcome. My name is George Nasser. Today what I'm going to go over is how to make a ring or wedding band from a relief, from the relief library that's in Arkham. So I created a new project and I called it Relief Design. So we're going to open that up. We're going to go to our models, Rory Access, give this a name, Animal Ring, whatever name you choose. American, give a finger size, accept it. Let's go to 2D. So this is our page. We're going to go to this library, to this uh, folder, and we're going to click on it. We're going to get all a selection on the side, pick whatever you want. I picked animals. So we're going to select, or you could create your own relief. So let's pick this butterfly, let's bring it over here. It's kind of big right now, so we're going to grab the edges and bring it in to whatever size, and F9, and let's see to where you want it to be, so that looks pretty good. Right here, you could, you're could you going to go down on these options, and you're going to give it a height. I'm going to give it a height of 1, and merge high, add, it doesn't matter at this point, and we're going to paste it. Okay, this is our butterfly here. Let's close this so we could have something to work with. If you notice, this butterfly doesn't have any vectors right now, and that's what it looks like. Okay, you can see how it's a nice thickness because I gave it a height of 1. Because if I would have brought it in without adding the height, it, it would have been really thin to create a ring. So I'm going to take this relief, I'm going to create a vector first around it. Okay. So let's create boundary from relief. We're going to go to this icon. And the everything's pretty much preset. And we're going to create. And that created a vector for us. Let's close this here. So now we have a vector to work with. That's pretty cool. So now we're going to uh, draw a small box here. So let's give this a height of, if you want to keep a 4 millimeter, that's fine. Create. And now we have something to draw to. So make sure press T and make sure this node is in the center so so it's perfectly centered and escape. So now what we're going to do, we're going to draw a polyline from this point to that point. So we're going to take this polyline, snap it to this point and snap it. Here you can see how it snaps. Press the space bar, that gives us a polyline. But that looks kind of blah, so we're going to give it a shape, press N for node, and let's uh, give this guy, so we have something to work with. Okay, we could shape these here, okay, let's work this here, press B for Bezier, so we're going to go, we're going to kind of give it a nice contour, so make, the, make sure these are not checked, okay, so give it a nice contour, whatever you know, pleasing look to it. Okay. That's pretty good. So we only, we're now we're going to hold the shift key down by selecting the center line. Select the top rail. Copy to the bottom. Okay. Now if you notice the bottom rail is a little bit short. So let's make it a little longer. Press N for node. And grab that point and snap it on the edge here. Okay. So now they're both identical. So make sure they both go in the same direction. You can see, if you look at it in 3D, put your uh, toggle this visible, you'll see that it's all going to, from the green to the red. Okay? So make sure that's green to red, not the other way around. So now this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to use to create a, an actually cross section. Okay? So we're going to draw one here. And... Select it, press N for node, remove the bottom line. Okay. Now draw another one, select it, hold the control key down, and bring it one over. Select it, press N for node, and A for arc. And you could bring it down a little bit. So now we have two cross sections we're going to work with. So when we go here to two rail sweep, it's you see how you highlight it? And if you click on it, it's only going to open the two rail sweep. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click on it and hold the left mouse button. You notice I have other options. Now I'm going to go to extrude. And now these are our options here. Now you could snap this any way you want. But I'm going to bring it over here so we could work with it. Okay. So 
I'm gonna, it says here, it says we're gonna select the drive rail. So this is our drive rail. Okay, so we're gonna select it. And if you notice these little arrows here, you see that little arrow? Make sure it says use on the center. So now we have the two lines pointing that way. So that's the, the drive rail. Now we're gonna select the cross section, which is here. And we're gonna select it. And you have the op, you can see how actually it created it. Let me move this out of the way so you can see it. Okay. You see how that's adding? So that's why it's very important. Now we do merge high. So our cross section might be a little bit high. Okay. So we're going to fix that. Okay. Let's look at it from the top profile. So you can see here, this is a little thick. But normally I would measure, but I just want to show you how you could fix that. Okay? So if we bring these nodes down, you can see how it's changing before our eyes in real time. Okay? So make sure that's in merge high. So you're going to keep doing it until it's pleasing to you, uh, whatever thickness you're trying to. But at least I want to match it up here so I could actually work it down this way. Okay? Normally, if you would draw the cross section, will give you a perfect height. But I just want you to see if you did uh, go that route, you could actually adjust it and fix it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. A little bit, you know, almost even with the butterfly, and that gave us that cross section. So now, what we're going to do? We're going to select an end profile. So it stays flat here. And we're going to do a round on top. So we're going to select that. If you notice, same idea happened here, but. Um, you could see the the top is round and the bottom is is actually square. So we're gonna bring this down a little bit too. Okay. So let's look at it from this view so we have an idea. Okay. So that looks pretty. Just a hair down a little bit more. Okay. And that looks pretty good. Now we could do both rails at the same time. Okay. Okay, and then we could select the cross section and we could do the drive rail. But let's just do one. We're going to apply and cancel. Okay. So now this is a drive rail was created by Extrude. Okay. Let's bring this here. All right, so, I mean, you could clean this out if you like, or you make your cross-section a little bit smaller. I just wanted to show you how you could use um, the extrude uh, button instead of the two-rail sweep, because I want to make it with the split shank. But you can make it actually smaller, okay? So let's do this side. Let's draw a cross-section here, another one. So I'm going to make this one to size. So I want to make it only, let's say, 1.5 millimeter, and the height is... Let's measure it to this guy here. So let's do measurement at least 1.5. Okay. So we're going to end for node, remove the bottom, and let's arc this. Okay. So I'm just going to extrude here. So here's what we're going to do. So uh, let's snap this guy here. So I'm going to go back, click here on extrude. We're going to select the drive rail, select it, and make sure it's in the center. And we're going to do the cross section. Select it. Okay. And let's look at it. All right. So. All right. So now it's. Didn't take effect. So let's see. No chai. Blind cancel. Let's try it again. Okay. Extrude. Drive rail. Select. Use the sun line. Cross section, stop profile, and there it is. Okay. All right. So let's look at it. Now that is supposed to be merge high. It's a little bit high here. Again, we could adjust that uh, in real time. Okay. So let's uh, bring it down. And let's take it down a little bit here. And take it down a little bit. Okay, so we're going to apply and cancel. So now we have a small one and a large one. So I'm giving you different ideas how you could actually um, 
work with the extrude button instead of the two rail sweeps. So that's what it looks like on top. And all we have to do now, copy over left to right. Okay, so it is a butterfly ring. You can make this thinner, you can make it thicker, we can make it different shapes, but that gives you like a couple options to do this. Okay, that's very easy to do, right? If you want to clean the shank, you could actually, uh, you know, restart all over, but you could actually delete this area here by going, for example, if I snap one here, and let's go here, and I would just dump this area out, okay? All right, so it's just different things that you could do without having to redo the whole thing, okay? Let's do it here. And let's zero this, okay? And that gave us, you know, different look here, you know, versus this. And let's copy this uh, to the left to right. And that gave us a thinner shank. So you don't have to, you know, you could, you know, play with it just to give you some ideas, okay? By using extrude instead of two rail sweep. All right, so let's uh, erase this and let's start all over again, okay? So let's get rid of all these. We don't okay, need them. Okay, guys, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an actual wedding band from the relief folder, okay, or the library. So let's uh, first draw a box. We're going to create our wedding band and F9 to center, and let's give this a height, okay, F12. We're going to keep it flat. Give this a height of two, apply and cancel. And while we have it, we're gonna offset it, okay? So let's select the vector, okay? Offset it inward. Let's do that 0.75. Uh, looks good, and let's subtract that. Okay, let's bring it down a half a millimeter, 0.50 and subtract. Okay, and that's what our wedding band looks like. Apply and cancel. Let's shut it off. And that's the wedding band. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna paste animals all the way around this wedding band. Okay, so this is very important you pay attention to this please. So we have two icons here. We have this icon here, it's called paste along a curve, and we have paste a relief along curve. But I don't see the, the icon here, so you're probably going to go crazy looking for it. So if you go on the relief and you go on the create, you're going to see it right here. Paste a relief along a curve. But I don't want to do all these steps every time I need to paste something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the icon here. So I'm going to go under Windows and go to, um, let's go, go to Windows, Tools, and Docking, and go all the way down to Customize. And you're going to go under Relief, and you're going to look for that icon, okay? See, it's right here, Paste Along Curve. Grab it by holding the left mouse button and, and dock it where you want to put it, okay? So let's uh, bring it over here. You, can, you see that little cursor? That put it right there for us, okay? So now we have the actual icon here, Paste Relief Along Curve. And paste along a curve. So now two two different things. Animal, and we're gonna put it right on the wedding band. Okay. So make sure we have our relief. So let's go to 3D this time. Okay. So we're gonna paste it along here. So let's um, bring the horse here, for example. And you can see we can't see it. Turn this on so we can see the horse. Okay. And we're gonna paste it right along. The wedding band. Okay. And let's make sure it's right between the two vectors so they're not touching. Maybe just a hair. Okay. So now it's very important that when we click on it, if you read down here, 9.367. So take note of that. So whatever size you make it, make sure you look on the width, 9. Point whatever the size you make it, you decide to make it. But here it's 9.367. Okay, so we go to this tool and make the, the width 9.367, okay? 
okay we're gonna make space even we're gonna paste along this curve while it's selected hold the shift key down hold the the rail okay and we're gonna paste it so it pasted all of them on there okay so now so let's look at it now we have all our vectors in place okay I need that's very important okay so remember this number here so let's right click copy it okay so close that so we're gonna paste now the relief we're gonna use this icon so when we select this hold the shift key down hold the center line paste here so we're gonna make everything adjust okay to fit exactly okay so you can see it all went in there I only kept this number just in case if we ever went back here we need it for later but it always saves it so you don't even need it anymore so let's look at it here let's shut this and let's shut these guys here so now you notice it's it's all the way around the wedding band looks pretty nice okay but I'm still not done the reason I created the vectors because I want to texture the back okay because usually when it comes in it has no no vectors here okay you can see the vectors are not there so let's see if we could um, turn the vectors see the clip are here we could turn them on here okay so make sure that's on so you can see it from the front if this is off you can still um, if you click here you'll be able to see them in the back you click this on you'll be able to see them in the back okay so oops we did something so let's cancel this here and uh, let's go back here let's dock this and turn the clip bar on so now what we're gonna do we're gonna the background we're gonna flood fill it okay we're gonna go here we're gonna give it a different color so to get the colors you make sure this is on and off see it so that gives you the colors here so select the color that gives the background run we're gonna select our horses and give it a different color any color doesn't matter so now we're gonna texture just on the red okay we're gonna go to this tool here texture relief make sure it's selected color we don't want the blue we want the red you can see it changes here so let's give it any texture you want don't the size of the so 0 0.50 and let's see the z height we don't want it more than 10 20 max you know anything above that's gonna overpower the horses and we're gonna add it and we're gonna apply okay so let's look at it now and shut these guys and you can see how pretty that looks okay so that's how you make a wedding band with different styles and you could add a texture by using colors and pasting along vector and you have two ways of doing it okay but that looks pretty cool okay so I hope you enjoyed this let's close this so you have a bigger screen and uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you for the next tutorial okay thank you very much test 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 test